In today's video, we're going to look at three areas that is crucial to create great storyboards for your animations. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel, the channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation and if that is you, welcome, you are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. Now just a quick reminder, last week I just I told you guys about my um, bund my online course bundles that is on sale. Um, so make sure to go check it out if you take two courses um, or we, yeah, if you bundle up two courses you get 60% discount and if you bundle three courses uh, you get 70% discount. So that is a big saving. So make sure you go check it out and make use of this opportunity. Um, the reason I'm having this launch um, or this um, promotion on my online courses is because next year uh, with my online community on my website, um, I'm really going to work with all the members there to help them to improve, to learn more skills and to um, get their own projects going. So um, these courses um, will really help you and make sure to go check out last week's video. Um, three things to become a better animator in 2023, then you'll understand this promotion much better. So I'll put it right here so you can go check it out as well. Um, so that is my focus for next year. So you don't want to miss out. Make sure you Make use of the opportunity of these bundles um, for my online courses and then also go and sign up for my free community. Um, next year I'm going to open up the paid memberships um, for a short period and um, if you're a free member you know exactly what to expect and you'll also be notified immediately. Um, so become part of the community next year is going to be big and you're really going to benefit um, next year from the start animating community. So um, today we're going to look at three things that you need to implement in your storyboards to make sure you create great, good looking animations. Um, so these three things are crucial. Um, there's probably more, but I truly believe these three is the three things that will take your animations to the next level. Okay, so the first thing is actually one of the principles of animation and that is staging. So what is staging? Staging is simply put um, the layout of your scene. So in other words, you determine where each character must stand, your backdrop or your scene, um, the layout. Um, so that is very important, but that is not all. The, the other purpose of staging is to also ensure that you lead the, your, the viewer's attention to where you want it. Uh, let me quickly give you a, a, an example. Uh, I'm just going to quickly draw here. Um, that is it. Okay. So let's say we've got a hole here in the ground. This, And then we've got some characters. They are all... Well, they are all looking towards this hole, okay? I'm just drawing some stick figures here. Okay, so if you look at this, um, the characters will draw your attention to the hole and you as a viewer will probably wonder what's inside. And that is what you want. So you've laid out your scene to make sure that you lead the, the viewer, the audience, to what you want them to to look at or focus on. So this is a very simple um, idea. So let me just quickly undo these characters. Now, let's say your idea is to get your the views to focus to this hole and what's inside of it. But now let's say you've got characters standing here. Uh, that's, I keep forgetting to draw the arms, but they are looking up, they're looking away. Okay, so where is the attention of the audience? It's not at the hole. It is actually upwards because your characters are looking upwards. So you are driving the attention or the focus um, to, of your audience away. 
um, to where you want it. So that is another thing about staging. It is not just about your the layout of your scene and where your characters stand, etc. But it's also to make sure that you drive the attention and the focus of the viewer to where you want it. Um, another thing is also with staging to remember is to always make sure only one thing happens at a time, okay, and not more than one, um, because then the um, audience attention or focus will be at, they don't know where to focus, okay, so maybe um, let's undo all of this again, okay, so staging is also like a sequence, remember that as well, so the first sequence is the audience see there's a hole, okay, then the second thing is a character walks into the scene and he ends up standing there. Um, so that's the first thing he walks in. And then the third thing is he notices something and then he looks there. So you can see he, there's a sequence of things happening. It's not everything happening at once. There's a sequence. The audience sees this hole. Then the character walks in. They notice they notice the character, so the first thing they notice the hole in the um, in the ground. Then, secondly, they notice um, the character, and then they see the character is interested in what is in the hole. Okay, so it's a sequence of events. But if you just started off with there's a hole, the character stands there and he looks inside. It is three things at once. Okay, so you kind of want to build a sequence. Of events okay so uh, let me just clear this so that is staging okay so staging is very important so always remember um, staging is the layout of your scene but it's also um, the purpose of staging is to drive the audience attention to where you want it and also to do it in a sequence and not all at once so that is the first thing you want to achieve inside your storyboard so you can actually with your storyboard plan everything out you can plan your layout where your characters must stand you can plan when um, the sequence when what should happen so that is the first thing the second thing that is crucial um, with storyboarding is cinematography so what is cinematography um, cinematography um, some people might mistake it with staging because cinematography is also like your layout but cinematography is more it's not where you want your audience to focus on but cinematography is more telling a story with what the audience see and so that is the difference between cinematography and staging so you want to portray a certain feeling with the scene if you do a quick um, screen capture of a scene from your animation then what does that scene uh, portray or what does it tell the audience for instance there's some cliches okay so i'm gonna simply just draw some quick cliches okay so it is a close-up scene at a window okay this the window and it is raining Okay, and you've got your character here looking sad and he's looking outside. Okay, normally you, this scene you'll see a lot in movies and it's just someone wishing he was somewhere else or he's uh, missing someone. Okay, so this is actually like cinematography. The scene tells the audience something, it portrays some sort of emotion and the audience kind of know what that character feels just with the scene i mean there's no sound there's no dialogue but the audience already know exactly what's happening let me give you another example okay so let's say um there's the edge of a mountain and you can see there's some mountains at the backdrop okay but yes, at the edge, and let's say it's just a bush. So I'm just drawing very roughly, uh, no details. And then you've got your character standing here, and he's looking away. Okay, so this kind of gives a feeling of this guy's. Um, he's got the whole world 
in front of him, okay? Or he's feeling free. Um, there's nothing, he's in nature. So sometimes your image, your, uh, if you take a screenshot of your animation, that should tell a story. Sometimes there's like a park and here is like a swing. And you've got a character here on a swing sitting there all alone and the character is very small there's no one around he's very small in the scene and this kind of gives the feeling of this character is feeling sad or alone um, so there's a lot of different ways to tell your story visually by the scene and that is cinematography okay so go and just a great exercise to improve cinematography f and to understand it better. Go to um, like clip or um, stock footage um, websites, um, pixels.com, um, websites like that, or even Google Images, and type in movie scene um, with a emotion, or just type in an emotion, um, and see what type of images comes up and see does that image portray the emotion that you typed in so if you're going to type in loneliness okay and or depressed okay so what what f images comes up that portrays depressed uh, someone that's depressed and see what images speaks to you what image really tells you that this image portrays someone being very depressed um, and try learn storytelling through images um, because that is what cinematography is and if you can learn that you can really enhance the storytelling of your animations okay and then finally the last thing that you need to learn or that i feel is crucial with storyboarding is um your camera movement okay so uh, when do you need to um, pan in or pan out zoom in um, pan left or pan left pan right zoom in zoom out um, but also camera angles okay so for instance if I uh, do this if I've got a my main character is here and I've got a character looking down on him okay so this is someone that is dominant. Okay, so the camera is below the this character. So the or the character is looking down. Okay, on the camera. So the camera is on an angle up. This kind of also is cinematography in a way. So you can use your camera if you learn camera movement and camera placement. That will also tell you uh, help with cinematography. But this will tell you um, this character is very dominant. Then. A very popular scene in um, Shrek with Puss and Boots um, that you know when he's uh, looking so cute with the big eyes what is the camera angle there the camera angle is from the top okay so you can also um, have um, the camera from oh wait let me just so the camera is from the top and you can see now this character is um oh, basically like that and he's looking up so now this character looks more innocent vulnerable because the camera is looking down the camera is above him so if the camera is above a character looking down that character normally is a bit more um shy vulnerable um cute even um, and if it's opposite then the character is more dominant um like so you, with camera placement you can also tell a story but also you've got your fade in fade out like fade to black uh, at the end of a scene um, camera panning in camera panning out how can you portray again with cinematography how can you portray emotion with camera placement like I've um, just shown you here so camera movement is also a crucial element of storyboarding and you can really uh, plan everything in your storyboard because remember the purpose of your storyboard is to plan out the look and feel of your animation so once you've done that 
and you know how this the cinematography, the staging, the camera, everything is planned out. When you go and animate, everything just falls together and your animation is just such a great, um, it's just such a much better storytelling experience for the viewer uh, because you really tell your story with your cameras with your staging nothing is overwhelming the you lead the audience focus to where you want it to be you tell the story with your cinematography and with your camera movement everything so you really you will really enhance your storytelling your animations with these three things so remember it's staging cinematography and camera placement or camera movement. Um, so those three things for me is crucial when it comes to storyboarding. So guys, that is it for me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'm sure you laughed at all my poor drawings here. <laughs> but I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to hit the subscribe button if you did. And, and even that like button. It really helps this channel. So from me, Eon, I'll see you guys next week with another video. Um, from me, God bless and happy animating.